Today, Wemby and Shaq will be competing in a game of Battleship as they race to 99 overall. At the beginning of each year, Wemby and Shaq will compete in a challenge. The winner of the challenge will spin from the good wheel and hit a spot on the Battleship board. The loser of the challenge will get a spin from the bad wheel and not get a spot on the board. Wemby and Shaq can get other shots on the board by completing any of the goals listed here. The first person to sink all the other player ships is the winner. Subscribe to the channel to enter the PS5 giveaway that doesn't exist and like the video. Let's go. So here's 40 overall, Shaq, and 40 overall, Wemby. And now let's go ahead and see what challenge you're going to be getting in this. Uh, sorry, they're going to be getting it to first a 1v1. I talk too fast. You know, I can't help it. First to five. Let's see what happens. I feel like Shaq should dominate these just because of his weight, but I mean, Wemby is 7'4", 7 7'5", 7 so maybe his height helps. And Wemby's got a little bit of a handle here with the layup. Good to go already. 1-0. Still trying to pump fake. I don't know why you would do that. Oh, Wemby who blocks the shot, gets the rebound, puts it up and in. Stop pump faking on Wemby. There we go. Spin right up. See, no pump fake. Just go up with it. You got the space from the spin. Wemby driving late. That's too easy, bro. And again, he, he's a 40 overall. And that, that was really easy. Shaq, big body and hop stepping up. The pump fakes are just not... Okay. All right. Hold on. Maybe I was wrong. Wemby driving, going up with the lay, finishes at the rim. Just reminding you guys, everything here is 25. So yeah, I don't know what's going on. Wemby trying to drive. It's not there. Shaq playing good defense. Shimmy hook. Shimmy hook for the win. Before we give Wemby a shot, I just want to show you the board first. The purple ones are Shaq ships, and the gray ones are obviously Wemby's. And then the plus ones are extra upgrades. So if you land on that spot, you'll get the upgrade spot. So let's see what spot Wemby is hitting on the board first. It's going to be D1. Well, he actually hit his own spot right here, which means just nothing's going to happen here. He's not going to sink his own ship. That'd be crazy. But now since he selected D1, he'll never get it again. You can't land on the same one twice. Now let's go ahead and give Wemby his upgrade here, which is going to go ahead and be plus 20 to all finishing. Good start. That got him up to a 45 over overall and the bad wheel does give you a shot at a good upgrade but not much of a chance plus five overall to the other player okay but there is also a chance that you get something really bad so now Wemby's up to a 50 overall and one of our eight goals was to reach 50 overall so that's gonna give Wemby another spot on the battleship board it's gonna be f4 f4 is a miss almost got the upgrade or one of Shaq's ships but he's gonna miss both but at least he's getting the misses out of the way Shaq's down big time we'll see if he comes back Luca with an MVP and we somehow already had a trade to go down so Shaq on the Hornets now. I feel like that kills the aura a little bit of Shaq being on the Lakers, but you know what you're gonna do. We'll see if he can save this franchise. And Wemby's still in San Antonio, just not doing anything. And the Mavericks win the championship. Luka Finals MVP. Shaq's now a 42. And Wemby's now a 53. So Shaq's got some catching up to do. Lucky for Shaq, not all these challenges are 1v1. So we'll, well, okay, this next one's gonna be. Sorry, Shaq. All right, let's see if Shaq can bounce back. Shaq trying to get one on the board here. Pump fake, and it's not gonna work on Wemby. He's not falling for it. Yeah, it's just, oh, okay, got his own board. That'll help. Wemby trying to drive. Got the layup to go. 69% contested. Shaq driving. He had the lane. Okay. And he smoked the layup, but he got it back. Lays it up. But that should have been a foul too, maybe. Wemby working that post. Pump fake it. It's not there. Shaq with some great... Oh, I thought that was goaltending for a second there, but Wemby got it back. Shaq using that strike. There you go. That's the bully ball you got to play with Wemby. That would have been a killer, but Wemby's going to grab his own rebound and throw it down. I mean, you got to get that rebound, Shaq. Wemby in the post. Spinning off. Pump fake. Oh, he should have just went up. He had the... Okay, it's going to be tough here for Shaq. No, that's a terrible shot. Oh, but he's going to get his own board and throw it down. Shaq, just no hustle. So let's see what spot Wemby's hitting on the battlefield. It's going to be B6. B6 is, again, his own ship, so that's unfortunate. But he does get a good upgrade, so let's go ahead and see what it is. Plus 20 off playmaking. Solid. That guy Wemby do a 55. Let's see if Shaq can lock himself into a good upgrade here, and that's a really mid one. Plus 5 playmaking badge points. Yeah, that didn't really do much for him. Wemby has a 13 overall lead. But the good thing about Battleship is that doesn't really matter. But it definitely helps. Luka with another MVP. The Hornets won 34 games and the, who am I looking at? The Spurs. I keep thinking it's the Lakers, but the Spurs have 24 wins. Wemby didn't play. And Shaq actually played a minute, I guess. Yep, literally one minute where he probably did nothing. And the Mavs win it all. Luka 42, 9, and 7 on 56% shooting and almost 50 from 3. Yeah, alright. Shaq's up to a 46 and Wemby's almost a 60. So he's almost at that 60 overall. Go, we'll see what our next challenge is a dunk contest. Okay. Alright, Shaq's up first here. At least I think he is. Don't mind those numbers. They're not real. Let's see what Shaq can do. Run it up here. It went in. <laughs> that that should be like 25 points. You can't dunk the ball and then have it go in like a layup. That got him a 30. Okay, I was right on the money with that. All right, Wemby, lock in. Wemby from the right wing here, taking off. Okay, that was much better than a 30. Wemby should do the dunk on this in real life. Like, I know it would look ridiculous in being 7'4", but like, it'd be funny, bro. It's like Nate Robinson being so tiny. It's funny. That got him a 31. So Wemby wins this round by a point. I think we could all agree the better dunk won there, but you know, it's going to be E1. E1 is another empty spot, so Shaq is still staying alive. 
alive here. But Wemby obviously has a much greater chance of landing on one of Shaq's ships than Shaq does the Wemby's. Let's go ahead and get Wemby's upgrade here, which is going to go ahead and be plus 20 to all defense. He's been getting a lot of really good upgrades. His new defense got onto a 63, which means he's going to be hitting another spot on the board for achieving 60 overall A6. And A6 is, again, his spot. So uh, not much to really do there, but, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> it's insane. If these spins were all Shaq's, like, it would be, oh my, like, Shaq would be dominating. But Wemby just continues to raise the probability for himself, so that's good. Plus five playmaking badge points. Wow, Shaq, these are horrible upgrades. Well, he's a 47. That's nice. And Wemby's almost not a reserve for his team. Like, one or two more years, especially if he wins another challenge. Shea with an MVP. The Spurs won 33 games in the Hornets. I'm going to spend it at the bottom. No, they're actually in the playoffs. Okay, good for... Wait, where are the Hornets? Oh, 90. There we go. Shaq didn't get to play this year, and neither did Wemby. And the Mavs win it all. Luka finals MVP. Shaq officially reached 50 overall, so he's finally going to get his first shot on the board, which is going to be C3. And C3 is not a hit, but, you know, it's something. So, you know, you, you got to take that. And I did change the colors of Charlotte just to, you know, help the immersion a little bit. But at least he's got one down. And Wemby's up to a 67. Can Shaq lock in and win one challenge this video? A three-point contest that probably favors Wemby, but you never know. All right, Wemby's up first. Now, both their jumpers suck, but I guess Wemby's is a little better. I don't really know what they're going to do here, but we'll see. But uh, starting off pretty slow here for Wemby. Nothing going in. This is his money ball rack, so that's pretty important. Yeah, you missed them all. So far, he hasn't hit a single one. If You, you just got to hit one here, dude. No. Oh, he hit the money ball. That's, that's going to help out a lot. And then the starry ball, yeah, that's never going in. But see, that one ball might be enough to win it. We can't, like, he, the dude's 7-4. I, I, I don't even know what's going on. Wemby's still bricking here, but uh, I mean, listen, this is possible for Shaq. It's not impossible. Now, if he makes this, then it's impossible. Okay, I was about to say. We got nine seconds left. He's onto his last rack, and if he misses all of these, Shaq has a chance, although his shot form is slower, so he may not even be able to get all these off. So, last shot. Okay, he missed it. They didn't show it, though. All right, Shaq, can you beat two? One money ball and one regular one. That's what it's going to take to get an upgrade here and a spot on the board. Yeah, see, look, his shot form is so much slower that I'm not even sure if he's going to be able to get all these off. And that was his money ball rack, so he just missed all the ones on his money ball rack, meaning, I don't know, it's, it's going to get tough here. He's shooting them, though. He's trying. Money ball three. Missed it. A star ball would give you the win. Oh, okay. Man, Shaq. Oh, you're going out bad, Shaq. You just got to make one, Shaq. It's not going to happen, is it? Star ball is your only chance. Oh, he airballed. <laughs> That's tough. He's not going to make a single one. He's not going to make a single three. He's not going to make a single three. Oh, oh, I just rimmed out. Eight sec. I am surprised he got through all the balls, though, or at least he's going to get through most of them here. He might miss the last one, but other than that, I'm, I'm actually pretty shocked he got through all these, and he shot them all, and he missed them all. So that's going to be a spot for Wemby on the board here, which is going to be E3, and Shaq just dodged the ball here. E3 is right, and he's got an E1 and E3. So Shaq survives a hit. But now it's time for Wemby to get himself another good upgrade here, plus 20 to all defense again. And now Wemby's one overall away from a new goal, and Shaq just keeps falling behind, man. It is getting rough. Okay, plus 10 to physicals. That's something. Got him to a 52. Not bad. And Wemby's now the starting center for the Spurs, so he can start winning championships and getting more points if he wants to, but obviously in 74, it's probably not going to happen. Luka with another MVP. The Hornets won 56 games, not due to Shaq. He's not even playing, and the Spurs won 27. Some numbers for Wemby here. Almost a triple-double, averaging six assists. And as I said, Shaq didn't play a minute, and the Mavs win it all. Luka finals MVP. Wemby's now a 79 overall, meaning he passed 75, so this is his next spot on the board. It's gonna be A2. And for as bad as Shaq has been in this video, Wemby has been equally bad, or at least equally unlucky here with the board. Not a single hit on anything. Not even a plus one upgrade or something like that. In seven attempts, that's rough. And Shaq's up to a 55 not bad. I wouldn't say Shaq needs a miracle, but it's not going to be much longer until Wemby actually starts hitting things on the board. We got a 1v1. All right, Shaq, this would be an upset of a lifetime. Hey, that's a nice box out, though. Oh. Ugh. Oh, okay. All right, it's a good start. Shaq working that post, spinning off, going up, lays it up and in. Okay, 2-0. Wemby for three. Oh, that would have been a killer, but he's going to get his own rebound because Shaq is just not fast enough. And, okay, yeah, not much he can do about that. Wemby, step back three. Oh, Wow. Shaq going to try to tie it up. Okay, there you go. Okay, that was a nice little bucket. Wemby spin move. Okay, good defense from Shaq, though. That's Oh, he might have got it. Oh, you let him get the rebound. Shaq looking to tie it up. Get a body. Got him up in the air. That was, that was the worst thing I've ever seen. Wemby in the post. Pump faking. Nothing really there for him. Going up. Got it. Wow, Shaq. You just got it. That was That was bad, bro. Wemby's due to hit something here. He's going to be landed on D5. And yet again, another miss for Wemby. I don't I don't know. I, I did not expect someone to get 
eight spots. It's eight to one right now, and neither person has hit anything. But Wemby is getting himself an upgrade here. We're going to go ahead and be almost got another battleship spot right there, but plus to one at all defense. Again, his defense is going to be maxed out here. So now he's an 82 overall, and Shaq at this point is desperate, like insanely desperate. Lowest rating boost of 99. That'll help. His lowest rating is speed with ball, but I'm not going to raise that because it immediately goes down all the way to like 50 to next year because he doesn't have the speed to keep up with speed with ball, so it's just kind of pointless. Making his next lowest pass accuracy, which I don't know what that really helps, but uh, you know. I mean, it got him to a 56, so he'll take it. Shaq's still a reserve, and Wemby might be the best player on his team at this point. I know he's not the highest overall, but he might be the best player. Luka with another MVP. The Spurs are the 8th seed, and the Hornets are the 5th seed. Shaq didn't play, and Wemby had a solid year averaging 14, 12, and 7. And the Pistons win the championship. Kate Finals MVP. Wemby's up to an 85, and Shaq is a 60 overall, meaning he does get to hit a spot here, so it's going to be B4. And for Shaq, that is sadly going to go ahead and be a miss, but at least he got something on the board. I'm not sure if Shaq could compete in a 1v1 or 3 point contest. I feel like dunk contest is actually his best chance. All right, Shaq. I mean, hey, we're in desperate times. How will you respond here? That was nice. That would that should be like a 42. That was nice. That got him a 31, bro. Bro, what? That is insane that I got caught a 31. Let's see what Wemby responds with. If that scores higher than Shaq's, I don't know, bro. What'd I give him? Oh, they gave him a 29. Shaq won. Okay, I'm, you know, at least they're being fair. What are these scored out of 50? Like, are these dunks really that bad? Like, I don't understand. I want to see Ant do one real quick. I just, just want to see, like, what, what, what the bar is here real quick. Let's see what Ant does. Okay, let's see what that gets. Okay, this shit's rigged. Yeah, okay. Okay, oh, okay, bro. Okay. <laughs> well, Shaq, you might have a chance here after all. I'll do his upgrade after. I forgot to do it, but we'll do plus one to all defensive badges first. That didn't do much for him, but yeah, he's still a 60. Let's now go ahead and give him a spot on the board here. We're just gonna go ahead and beat D2. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a hit on the board. So instead of just marking it blue like this, we're just gonna make the whole piece red. So now if Shaq finds a way to get D1, he'll knock down this entire ship right here. I actually can't believe it took that long to get a hit, but you know, we're gonna do lowest rating boost and not an eye for Wemby, man. The rich get richer. His lowest rating was Excel, so uh, yeah, he's sitting pretty good. Wemby's getting the most minutes on his team, and Shaq's still not playing. Shea with an MVP. The Hornets are the one seed, and the Spurs are the three seed. Wemby only averaged 12 a game this year, and Shaq's still not playing. And the Mavs won the championship. Luka Finals MVP. Wemby officially hit 90 overall, so he's gonna get another shot at the board here, which is gonna be landing on E5. And Wemby finally got his first hit. It only took like nine attempts, but he's on there. And Shaq's up to a 64. Let's see if Shaq gets lucky again here. Lands on Dunk contest this is going to be a three-point contest. This is going to be tough for Shaq. Wemby's up first. Well, he started off missing, and his money ball rack is at the top of the key now. I don't know why he felt to change it, but, you know, we're going to do. Oh, he knocked one down. That could be the game. It's really oh, he knocked two in a row down. This is rough. His three is only like a 60. Or no, it's like a 55, but Shaq's is like a 42. So, I mean, that's enough to probably win. There's his money ball rack, though. He knocks down one of these. It's probably over. But so far, he's been missing. Oh, he knocked one down. He's got five points. Five points definitely should do it. Oh, he hit another one at seven points. This is insane for someone with like a 53. Oh, he hit another one. That's eight points. Three seconds, two seconds. He's going to end with nine points in this. That is insane, man. Shaq, you got no shot, dude. If you somehow score over nine points, I'll give you the win for the video. I'm kidding, but yeah, that, that would be ridiculous. And here's his money ball rack, so I guess we'll know early here. And yeah, he is big time bricking. It's also just his form is slow and terrible. Like, it's just... Not a good matchup here. And he hasn't made a single shot yet, so that's not redeeming. Dari Ball is your only hope. It's off. He's not even going to make one. This is tough. It didn't even matter what Wemby scored. If he just made his first one and called it a day, it would have been over anyway. I'm just surprised Shaq got all these off. Final one. Wow, he didn't score. So let's go ahead and get another spot for Wemby here. It's going to be A3. And that's just another ship from Wemby. So, uh, yeah, he just hit himself. And let's go ahead and see what his upgrade is. He's got a lot of really good upgrades. Plus one law finishing badges. Okay. He stayed at a 90. And now see if Shaq can get blessed here with an upgrade. Oh, my God. How many times is he going to get this? And he's still a 64. Wemby's approaching MVP category, which that would be really bad. He'll really start stacking up spots on the board. So Shaq's got to get in this rotation fast. Jokic with an MVP. The Spurs and Horrocks are both the one seed, but obviously Shaq's not playing. As I said, not playing. But if Wemby wins the championship, he'll get a spot on the board. And the Hornets actually won the championship, but I can't give Shaq a spot on the board because he's had to be at least starting to earn this because he didn't do anything. Wemby's up to a 93. Yeah, look, before that year, his three really wasn't even that good. And Shaq's a 67. I think at this point, what I'd like to see 1v1. It's been a while. We're going to get ourselves another dunk contest. It should have been 1v1, but what are you going to do? Well, Shaq, you got what you wanted. But you got Shaq going base. We're going to try that again. This is kind of hard to watch. All right, we're going to try left wing this time. 
He got a 21. I have never seen a score that low in my life. Oh my god, Shaq, what are you doing? I'm not even kidding. I think if Wemby does a layup, he'll get more points than that. I'm not, I'm not sure what he could possibly do here other than like miss 10 dunks. Just hit a really cool reverse layup. That, that, might, that might get this done. Okay, that's going to be higher than a 21. That's a 29. These, these scores are rigged, but he did win, obviously. Well, let's see if Wen oh, sorry, Wen Wemby gets a spire D3. And sadly, D3 is another miss. I, I I can't believe he's missed this many times. But I guess he'll take his upgrade here. We're going to go ahead and be puzzle on the finishing. Did he get that last time? Well, I still kept them as a 93. And now see if Shaq can get bailed out here somehow. Plus 10 on finishing? That's not terrible. And that put him one away from 70. He's still a reserve. And Wemby's the best player on his team. Well, Wemby is your MVP. So let's go ahead and spin it now. While we're here, it's going to be D6. I've never seen something just so unlucky is this d6 is another miss i don't know <laughs> I, I, I i couldn't tell you guys i have no idea the spurs and the hornets are both the one seed but Shaq just got traded to the king so uh yeah there you go and the hornets won the championship back to back chips if Shaq was just on the team playing as a starter he'd have two spots Shaq's up to a 72 and wemby's a 94 and as much as wemby's been dominating this game's still tied they both just have one hit so another 1v1 all right it's been a while since we had our last 1v1 Wemby trying to drive to the back okay he he might be too fast for Shaq at this point Okay, there's no guard in that. Shaq, oh, getting blocked by Wemby. Wemby is just killing right now. Shaq, okay, put back dunk. Missed it, but he's probably going to get his own rebound here because Shaq's just too slow, and he's going to throw it down. Wemby post fade. That's money, bro. Wemby driving, going up for the win. Missed it, got his own rebound, and puts it back up and in. So let's go ahead and see what spot Wemby gets on the board now. It's going to be B5, and B5 is yet another miss. <laughs> it's just, I, 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 it's insane. Let's go ahead and see what his upgrade is, though. Right here, it's going to be plus one off finishing again. Is this for the third time in a row? That got him to a 95. Let's see if Shaq and Luck is way into getting 75 overall here. Plus one off shooting. Okay, it might help for the three-point contest. That only got him to a 73. And there's a pretty good chance Webby's going to win MVP again, but we'll see. And Shaq is the starting center for his team, so not everything that happens, if they play against each other, it'll matter. And as I said, there's another MVP. So let's go ahead and get Webby's next spot here, which is going to be B4. And B4 is another miss, and that is the first spot that they both have claimed on. To, I believe, or maybe one of these reds they have both, but yeah, I think one of them, but yeah, whatever. The Spurs are the one seed, and the Kings aren't even in the playoffs. And Shaq got a solid year, putting up 12, 6, and 6. And Shaq got a solid year, putting up 12, 6, and 6. The Rockets go on to win the championship, St. Goon Finals MVP. Shaq's up to a 76, so we'll see if he can get a lucky hit here on the board. It's gonna be A5, and that's gonna go ahead and be an empty spot. He was very close, though, and Wemby's a 95. Shaq at this point has no chance in the 1v1, so a three point contest. I mean, he did just get some shooting badges, so you never know. All right, Wemby, you're up. If he somehow scores nine like last time. Oh, no. Okay, well, he's already off to making one. Oh, he made two. This is going to be tough for Shaq, man. Again, he does have... Oh, he's got four points already. And again, Wemby's three really isn't that high. It's like a 63, I think, or something like that. But Shaq's is a 51. Well, this guy is seven points right now, and he's probably going to break his record of nine. Oh, this is his money ball rack, though. Oh, no, that's unfortunate. He's got two shots. Oh, man. He just scored 11 points. That is insane, bro. Yeah, you're not going to beat that. Well, Shaq, you, you got to go insane, bro. Do your best, I guess. I mean, we still haven't seen Shaq make 1-3 the entire video. So maybe just, like, make one and we'll feel a little happy or feel like we have an actual chance. Money ball rack on the right wing. I don't know how I feel about that, but he knocked down one. Okay, all right, there's there's life. He proved he can make one, so maybe he can try to find a way to make, like, you know, six more. Oh, he made another one. He's got three. Four? Wow. You know what, yeah, Shaq? You know what? You put up a solid effort, man. I got to give you credit. It's just obviously not going to be 11 points, but, you know, it's, um, uh, this is more than I thought. He's got two shots left here. He got five points. Seven? Seven points. That's not bad, man. I, I got to say, that's impressive having a 53 ball. But moral victories don't get you on the board. Winning does. It's going to be C1. And C1 is a miss. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's insane. Let's go ahead and give Wemby his good upgrade here. We're just going to go ahead and be plus one. He's just getting a lot of badges right now. He hasn't got a single just like regular upgrade. That brought him to a 96. And now see if Shaq can cook up something here. Plus 10 the shooting. That'll help if we get a three-point contest again. Shaq's now a 77. And he's still starting for the Kings. Obviously, Wemby starting for the Spurs. That's another MVP for Wemby. Come on, man. You got to get yourself a second hit here, dude. Uh, D4, okay. D4 is a miss, but he did get on the plus one spot. So that's going to be a free goodwill upgrade for himself here. Lowest rating boost to 99. His lowest was speed, so now he's a demon. And Shaq had a solid year. The Spurs are in the finals versus the Pistons, and that's going to be a ring for Wemby. Well, there's already, there's only so many spots that Wemby cannot land on that, you know what I mean? Like, he, he is 
more than do to start hitting some of these ships. So let's go ahead and see where that spot is. Going to be A1, which yet again is a miss, but it is another upgrade. So we could get to 99 right here. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel here and see what one of these upgrades is going to be. Plus one to all shooting badges. And that actually kept them as a 97. He's a 98, so the challenges aren't done yet. I thought he would have hit it by now. And Shaq's up to an 81. So barring anything insane, this probably will be the final challenge. It's going to be a three-point contest, which I actually think Shaq has his best chance in this. Can he beat 11? I don't know. We'll see. And actually, they have the same rating. I think Wemby 66 and Shaq 65. But I think at this point, Wemby has better shooting badges. I might be wrong, though. They might have around the same shooting badges. But Wemby's already off to a pretty good start here. And I'm actually not sure this, but does better form have you make more shots in 2K? I don't really know. I, I doubt it, but maybe. Because I think other forms have different green windows. So maybe since Wemby's green window is different than Shaq, maybe as an advantage. I'm not too sure. But a good sign for Shaq. He missed all his money ball spots. So that's, uh, that's redeeming. Well, he's got seven seconds left here. He's made eight. So, I mean, oh, nine. Okay, I don't know. I thought eight was going to feel pretty beatable. But if he gets 10, then I don't think so. If he makes this... Okay, he didn't make it. Nine, I think, is beatable. So we'll see if Shaq got what it takes. He got, got what it takes. Okay, off to a rough start. That's okay. We just got to get warmed up. Oh, nice shot. Okay, he's got one to go. Oh, he's got two to go. He's got three points. Not bad. Oh, my God. He's making them. Okay, Shaq. He's got five already. He's got five, and his money ball rack is in the corner. He's got seven. Okay, if Shaq somehow chokes this and doesn't score three more points, that would be a really disappointing thing to happen, but I think he'll be okay. Oh, he made another one. Top of the key for the win. Missed it. Oh, Shaq, you got to make one. Oh, Shaq. Here's his good rack. Come on, you got to make one. No. Okay, there you go. All right, Shaq got the win. That would have been embarrassing if he would have lost like that. But he finally, he won his second challenge of the video by one point. In fact, both challenges he won were actually by a point. F2. Well, you don't get points for hitting your own, but uh, that's what he went ahead and did. So, okay. Maybe he can save himself here with a good upgrade. It's going to go ahead and be plus 20 to all shooting, but there's no challenges left. Or at least there won't be as soon as Wemby hits 99. Well, that would have helped a while ago. And now this upgrade should get Wemby to a 99, but we'll see. Oh, actually, I don't know. Well, yeah, that actually didn't get him to a 99, but he should hit it in the offseason, but you never know. Another MVP for Wemby. So maybe he'll get a hit here in this video. C5. And C5 is a miss. It's just, this is insane. The Spurs are the one seed and the Kings are the ninth seed. And the Spurs went ahead and won the championship, so Wemby's getting another spot on the board. He's more than due to hit something now. F6. And that is another miss. It's just, I, I don't know. Wemby's still a 98. Okay, I'm actually shocked. And I didn't know Shaq got traded to the Cavs, but he did. At least it didn't matter to the video, at least what we're doing. But he's an 87 now. And he is a knockdown shooter. This will definitely be the last challenge of the video. Another three-point contest, which is exactly what Shaq needs. I would be shocked if Shaq doesn't win this. But we'll see if Webby can pull off the offset. Okay, he's already starting off pretty good. Oh my god, he's gonna hit four or five first ones. Okay, three or five. Okay, now he's kind of bricking. Yeah, he's bricking. Starry ball. Man, no one's made that yet. Wow. He's up to seven points now. He did really good on that middle rack. So uh, seven's going to be tough. He's probably going to get around like 10, 11 points. But Shaq should be able to beat that with a, I think he has a 93 now. Oh, this is his money ball rack in the corner, which is good for 2K. That's 10. That's 12. Okay. Okay. I think it's going to end at 12. Oh, 14. He didn't get that one off. It doesn't matter. 14 points. I'm not going to lie. Shaq might lose this. And there he is in his new Cleveland gear. Go ahead, Shaq. All right, starting off good. That's not bad. Oh, man, he's missing. You, you got to make this money ball. Okay, all right, he's got three. All right, he's getting hot now. He's starting to knock him down as he just missed it, but he's, he's already got five points, so that's a pretty good start. Seven, there you go. This is his money ball rack at the top of the key. He's got nine. Okay, he missed that. Oh, he's going to win this. He's going to win this for sure. What did Wemby get? 14, right? I'm pretty sure he got 14, so he's going to have to start stepping up here. He's got 12 right now. 13 for the win. Missed it. He's got to hit two of these. Okay, he's got one corner. There it is. Okay, well, he beat it. It just, you know, definitely a little scary there at the end. Okay, now he's cashing out. Okay, now he's just no pressure, not missing. No pressure. Okay, he got 17. But Shaq's going to end the challenges here on a good note here. Plus one to all finishing. Okay, that only got him to an 88. And this should get Wemby to a 99, barring something insane here. Plus 10 to all physicals. Yeah, it should do it. And now Wemby sits as a 99. So let's go ahead and see if he finally hits something here. E4. All right, E4 is a hit, finally. So one of Shaq's ships is down. Just got to find a way to get rid of the other two. Wemby with another MVP. So he'll get himself another spin here, E2. 
two. And he's got himself another hit. He was more than due for this to start happening. The Spurs were the one seed while the Cavs were the fifth seed. And Shaq had a great year putting up 21, 9, and 8. And they're actually meeting in the finals. So whoever wins this series will get two spots on the battleship or battleship board, whatever. It's good. That's an insane swing if Shaq can win this. And well, it's 3-0. So uh, I don't think Shaq's going to have much of a chance there. That is unfortunate. Sorry how anticlimactic that was. So let's go ahead and give Wemby his two spots. Your first one up is D2. D2 was already hit from Shaq, so we'll just let it be. And now we'll go ahead and spin it again. It's going to be F3. And F3 is not a hit, but it is an upgrade. So I guess I'll take it. So let's see what Wemby's going to get now to help him at basketball. That plus 50 would have been crazy, but plus one all finishing badges. He now has every finishing badge on Hall of Fame. Shaq got himself to a 92, so he's going to get another spot on the board. I mean, he would just need insane luck to get a hit. It's going to be D6. And D6 is a miss. It's, it, it's going to be tough for him. Maybe Shaq can steal an MVP because Wemby's won like the last like five. Well, Shaq lost the MVP race, which means Wemby's getting himself another hit. It's going to be at C4. C4 is sadly a miss. The Spurs are the one seed and the Cavs are the four seed. And these look like MVP numbers. I guess just not better than Wemby. And we have another opportunity for a two-point swing. Let's see if Shaq can lock in. Sadly, Shaq could not lock in. This is really upsetting. Wow, he has not beat him in one game of basketball. So uh, yeah, that's going to be two more spots for Wemby. C3. That'll be another miss. So let's go ahead and try that one more time. F1. And that is, of course, another miss. I don't know how Wemby has missed this many, but this is actually kind of insane. Shaq's up to a 94. He can get the 99 and get another upgrade. Or not an upgrade, you know what I mean. We'll see if Wemby gets his, like, eighth MVP. Well, it's still Wemby's award, which means he's getting himself a potential hit here at C6. And, well, he hit something, just his own ship, so that doesn't count. The Spurs are the ones he winning 73 games. All right, Wemby's doing a lot of crazy stuff. Well, Shaq, you've already given four spots to him. Let's see if you make it six. He has yet to beat Shaq, or to... Oh, okay, Shaq won a game. I gave him a chance in the Simcast. It didn't matter. So that's going to be two more spots for Wemby. One at F2. And that's going to be a hit. So down goes Shaq's second ship. And he's only got one left. We are at this point delaying the inevitable. But there's still a chance Shaq could steal an MVP, win a championship, and just get super lucky and just get some hits on the board. It was It's going to be really hard, but he still has a shot, technically. Well, he's not beating him at MVP. So Wemby's getting himself another spin, B1. And unfortunately for Shaq, that is a hit. So he just needs B2 and B3. Cavs and the Spurs are both the first seed, and Wemby broke the winning record. Can Shaq do it this time? Probably not, but we'll see. Well, it went five games again. I mean, he tried. Even though Wemby's been up for majority of this video, this eight, these eight wins right here could have swinged so much, but obviously Wemby won all of them. C2 is obviously a miss. Still looking for that B2 or B3. Didn't get it, but he got himself a nice E6. Maybe if Shaq is a 9-9, he'll get a lucky hit. Let's see what happens. How many in a row is this? That's nine MVPs in a row. Like, he legitimately got, like, 20 spots just from his success on the court, actually, in the simulation. And Shaq, honestly, just had no counters. I mean, he just he took too long to get good. The Spurs went 75-7. and seven. They just keep breaking records, and the Cavs won 55 games. We have our fifth installment of Cavs Spurs. I wish one of these series would be closer. We could at least hop in and watch. But that just hasn't been the case. This one's over in five again. He's got four spots left. Just needs B2 and B3. There's B3. So we'll go ahead and mark this spot. So let's see if he gets to here. One in three chance. He got A4, which would just be friendly fire, but obviously not going to knock that down. Shaq's a 98. That's unfortunate. He could have at least got a shot. Well, now he's got a one in two chance, and this could be the end right here. Of course it's not. Got to say, Webby's odds in this video are just horrible. <laughs> like, all, like, it literally took till the last one. Like, that is insane. Well, the Cavs didn't even make the finals, so he'll only be getting one here. It's not like he needs more. And well, they're up 3 0. We'll sim to four. There you go. I guess I have to spin the wheel here. Yeah, okay. B2 is the final one. And Wemby has successfully taken down all of Shaq's ships, making him the winner of NBA Battlefield. Listen, I made this as competitive as I possibly could, but you couldn't have told me that Wemby was going to win 10 MVPs and 8 championships, okay? That's what it took to win this, all right? If just you cut those in half, Shaq is well into this game. Maybe even win just because of how unlucky Wemby was in drawing up spots on the board, like... That is insane, the run Wemby just went on here. But that's going to do it. Let me know if you guys have any ideas on how we could have players compete against each other, other games, tough stuff like that. Just do a whole paragraph if you got a whole idea. Knock yourself out. And then, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.